Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, we're doing a topic on beginner's guide to magnet fishing and what my problems are of what I've noticed because of time, I'm just going to put them into playlists time after time and then any bit of a question you've got, hopefully I can cover any questions within this playlist. So, the very first thing you're going to think about when you start magnet fishing is a magnet. Now, if you want a really good magnet, you're going to have to pay probably 40 to 50 pound and they can go upwards to 120, 150. The different strengths means the more money you're going to be paying. So what magnet did I start off with? I started off with this magnet, 68 kilos, it zoomed out a little bit on it, 68 kilo magnet, uh, not very powerful. I didn't really get a lot of good finds, just little bits and bats and stuff like that. Uh, you can get them this sort of shape with just the magnet facing down and what this is you can get them in different strengths there's more choices now in it when I started magnet fishing about four years ago so there's better choices you can buy of this one so with not getting much progress out of that magnet I went and brought myself this one the 200 pound or 200 kilo magnet I think this would cost me 50 56 pound and the rope come with it now your rope is important for magnet fishing as well there's no point you getting a strong magnet and have a weak rope in a minute i'll bring you down to some ropes we're gonna have a look at some of them why i wouldn't use them and why i recommend you getting one what's the strength for your magnet now this magnet has pulled my channel round. this magnet has found me a whole load of stuff easiest thing to do is go onto my playlists and you'll see my new videos there for magnet fishing and you'll understand uh, what I mean if you pop to me previous videos before that. Now this magnet is different to the other one because this magnet is a double sided magnet. So what this means is this magnet is great for pulling out really strong and the magnet sort of suffers in lifting it out of the water because it intends to pop to that position. If you find a magnet like this but a lot stronger where the magnet force is just coming from one side of the magnet that helps you pick more stuff up out of water because all the magnet force is coming out of one area well this one the magnet force is coming out of two areas so this is probably better for dragging but don't get me wrong i've had some fantastic finds with this it's just improved my channel by loads by getting this magnet uh, you can get this magnet in 300 400 500 kilos but the stronger the magnet, if you're going to click on bottom something really heavy, you may struggle to pull it out and you may struggle to get your magnet off it. So just for your first time one, just try get them for about 200 kilos, maybe 300 kilos. Don't get any higher than that. Get a feel for the magnet first. Get a feel for what you're doing with magnet fishing. Uh, that's all I can really say about the magnets. These are the, these are the key to magnet fishing. Like I say, this one, the force comes out from both the magnetic force. This is a good for pulling. Magnets like this, with all the powers at the bottom, they're brilliant for uh, pulling stuff out once you drag it into the surf, uh, edge of the canal or river. So I hope this gives you a bit of advice in what magnet to pick first. I would say go with this one. Try a 200, 300 kilo first, and then uh, if you think you need better, invest in a better one. What else can I say about magnet fishing to do with magnets is the ropes. Well, what I'll do is I'll turn you around and I'll show you the ropes, what uh, I recommend you get. Right, so the ropes, they're just important as your magnets are. There's no point getting in a, a really good strong magnet, two, three hundred kilo magnet, to be going to the shop and buying a pound shop uh, piece of rope. This is a pound shop rope. It stretches. So let's do that again. Look how close my hands are to now. It stretches. It's no good for a really, really strong magnet because you get out strong. <sighs> See how much it stretches? You get out strong in the water with a strong magnet. This rope is going to get wet, obviously, within the water, and then it's going to stretch and possibly it could break. So what I did is when I got this magnet, I uh, looked on the site and assault the rope with the magnet. I can't stretch this rope. It is super strong. Most sellers now sell the rope with a magnet because they know why we're buying magnets. Magnet fishing is becoming more and more of a popular hobby. People loving it worldwide. 
Uh, there's another rope what I tell you not to buy if you take my advice that's up to you and it's this sort of stuff it's like your washing line I started with this rope and this is what happens it just untangles itself over time of using like this yeah it's cheap it's easy to go buy it from the shop once that rubs on the uh, rocks on the canal or side of the canal or river or wherever you do magnet fishing it will do this when it gets wet all untangle and then it's a good possible chance you're going to use your magnet because that'll just break with any pull once it gets wearing down it'll just go so let's look at it again whenever you're going to buy a magnet always look on the site you buy a magnet from to see if they sell the rope ideal for your magnet do not get the pound shop pound shop stuff because it stretches that is dangerous to lose in your magnet when it's in water if you get a really really strong lock on something and do avoid the rubbish stuff you can buy from your corner shop so thanks for watching please check out the rest of my playlist on beginner's guide to magnet fishing please do subscribe and i'll see you later on for another video on beginner's guide to magnet fishing